having to be pretty conservative with my treatment afterwards just because for about four months just because you have to make sure everything else heals properly. Um, another really big issue I wasn't warned about, my genitals were numb, I had numbness shooting down my leg. My name is Jordan Veerman, I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and I came to Upright Health on their parachute program. Where I first began noticing my uh, hip pain, playing basketball, checked the ball in, followed my guy across the lane with one step and hit just a huge pop deep in my deep in my groin, right? I couldn't walk that one off. Went to the gym, we were doing max overhead squats. Tried to get the weight up, hyperextended and still caught the weight. Had just a huge compression and pretty good pain in my back. That's where I started compensating a lot of my muscle patterns for my hip and my sore low back. Felt like I was getting stabbed, uh, fall over, uh, you know, stand back up and you know walk a little bit and fall over again and um, it was hard to convince people that I was actually having pain when I would fall to the ground and then get back up and walk again. I scheduled a visit to my doctor, did a couple, you know, hip tests, swing, swings of the leg. I um, decided that I should try PT for a year. Little to basically no change. All he did tell me is that you're a perfectly healthy young 21 year old. I don't know what to tell you. The three years after that visit, I was still trying to fix uh, rectify this issue. I saw another physical therapist, a chiropractic, and I even actually stumbled upon a video from Upright Health, Matt sitting in the gym discussing what exactly FAI is and uh, what hip impingement you know could be and matched up perfectly with my symptoms. Um, so I kind of bank you know put that in the in the memory roll there and um, was trying to use that as my basis of what to do going forward and uh, how to solve my issue in that interim period. Trying different conservative routes and you know trying to manipulate the tissue. Uh, unfortunately, I, I wasn't seeing the progress I wanted, so I went in, set up an appointment with um, a surgeon. Uh, we got to talking and. Um, you know, the diagnosis of FAI as extra bone and somewhere in the hip and socket. Um, so um, at that point, once I asked him what's, what's um, anything that's not surgical going to do to fix my bone issue and he told me nothing, um, that is where I started thinking, all right, this is my only route to fixing my problem. At the one month uh, post-surgery uh, visit with my surgeon, I had mentioned that I'm experiencing the same exact hip pain that I had pre-surgery. Um, nothing is really even remotely different and at that point he had said we are still too close to the surgery date so moving on to our second visit, the two month out, I mentioned, again brought up the same thing, uh, exactly the same pain, nothing had changed. Um, so he proceeded to have me lie on the table, we did two quick uh, hip hip range motion tests, um, which I didn't have any pain, and then went to proceed and go over to his computer and uh, type in patient had been cleared of hip impingement. And I asked him kind of again, hey, I'm, again, I'm still having the issue uh, of the exact same thing, and you know, he told me you passed the test. Um, you can see me on an as needed basis. And so from that point, I decided I needed to look a little bit deeper at what other s solutions might be out there. Some of the drawbacks that I've experienced personally with proceeding with FAI surgery, um, first and foremost is just time. I, had a, I was having to be pretty conservative with my treatment afterwards just because for about four months, just because you have to make sure everything else heals properly. Um, another really big issue I wasn't warned about, my genitals were numb, I had numbness shooting down my leg, which I definitely would not have done the surgery. Had I been warned about that, maybe put it off 10 or 15 years. I needed to look a little bit deeper at what other s solutions might be out there. I began to Google some stuff, uh, just hip related, it didn't even have to be FAI, but just more so impingement. And I actually, I happened to stumble upon um, Upright Health again, uh, as uh, in that video, uh, 
pulled it up again and that's when I discovered uh, their whole program which I ended up purchasing so I started that program very shortly after. I was doing all this stuff back home working with different practitioners and wasn't getting the results I wanted so I ended up making a trip to Upright Health. The big difference that from working with Vincent and Matt and other practitioners um, back home is is a lot a lot of them looked at my issue as one track lane solution. It's like they either followed the surgeon's therapy to a T without taking a lot of any of the patient uh, in like individuality into a, account or on that same line as they just took the muscle that wasn't working at face value and you know tried to basically work it until it worked. Where Vincent and Matt helped me was is they really looked at the whole kinetic chain as a whole. Why isn't that glute working? Well we found out my obliques weren't firing. Once I found out I could get my obliques to turn on, I could get my hip to drop into the right position. Working in succinct, then I could get my glute to turn on. Looking at above and below the issue, Matt and Vincent were able to take the, again, the whole kinetic chain. For anyone who's considering the FAI surgery, who's been told that this is really their only solution to fix their hip, I would highly recommend that you first try and slow down. Going under the knife is probably not going to be your solution. I'm the problem. Fortunately, I'm also the solution at the same time. Look at your, your movements and motor patterns. I, that is where I would recommend anyone begin first. Just being persistent is, is really key to um, getting to the bottom of this issue. Pain sucks, life shouldn't.